How's it going? My name is Mr. Milanese, and today we're taking a look at two-way relative frequency tables. Okay, so in this video, all I'm going to do is show you how to make a two-way relative frequency table, and in a different video, I'll go over the definitions of like joint relative frequency, marginal relative frequency, and conditional relative frequency. So for now, let's just figure out how to make a two-way relative frequency table. Well, first of all, um, our information here is going to be based on a class experiment that we did. We got into this epic game of trash get ball, and we kept track of uh, how many people made and missed a basket, but we also kept track of boys and girls. So that's what you can see here. We've got, this is why we used a two-way relative frequency table, because we can keep track of two sets of information. The difference between a two-way frequency table and a two-way relative frequency table is that with a relative frequency table, we're turning them into percentages, okay? So for instance, seven boys made a basket, but in a relative frequency table, we want that as a percentage. So it's really easy. There were 33 people, that was about our grand total for that, there was 33 students in the room, and seven of them were, was a boy who, were boys who made a basket. So to get a percentage, all we have to do is seven divided by 33, and then times that number by 100. So I got a 21.2%, okay? And I got that by taking whatever number was in this category from my two-way frequency table, so there were seven boys who made a basket, and I divided it by the grand total, the total number of people in the class. Seven divided by 33, and then multiplied that number by 100, and I got 21.2%. So let's go ahead and fill in these other percentages. So like for instance, uh, the girls who made a basket, there were six girls who made a basket. So six out of 33, or six divided by 33 times 100, is 18.2%. Uh, and then I'll kind of fast forward through the rest of these. Okay, so all of these percentages, all they tell you is, for instance, if I were to randomly point to a person in the room and I wanted to know what was the chance that I was pointing to a girl who made a basket, 18.2% chance of that happening. Or if I wanted to randomly point and is it a boy who missed the basket? Well, there's a 33 and a third percent chance of that happening, okay? Now, how do you get these totals? Well, one of two ways. Either you can just add these percentages and it will total this one, or you can use the raw information. So for instance, I knew from my previous table that there were 13 people in general who made a basket. So 13 out of 33 is 39.4%. And so you can double check yourself, 21.2 plus 18.2 uh, equals 39.4%. So let's do the same thing with the rest of these totals. Now common sense, this last uh, place has to obviously be 100% um, to represent all of the students in the class. So that is how we make a two-way relative frequency table. 